welcome back everyone so today i will be showing you that how to scan and delete the viruses using the command prompt on your windows pc and laptop so why is command prompt necessary when you need to get rid of the virus the virus may bring you on a stage where you are not able to operate your computer you might be stuck on a bsod or any kind of a problem and you're not able to access properly your keyboard and your mouse so let's say you are stuck on a repair loop or you are stuck on any kind of a blue screen or any kind of notification then you can shut down your computer forcefully for three time in order to come to the advanced startup option and then in the advanced startup option you will be getting the cmd command prompt where you can open it and run all kind of command to delete all those viruses so either you can go with this method but if you have access to your desktop then what you can do you can simply click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes and now you will have the enough permission to run all kind of command so the first command that is recommended that you type here is task list and then you have to hit the enter key and now it will let you all kind of tasks running in the background that you can check here and then you have to properly look and scan all these applications by the extension .exe and whichever you feel suspicious you don't identify you just need to close it okay so for example let's say that i don't identify this application so i will select it then i will press the Control c key from my keyboard then I scroll down and next you have to type task kill space forward slash f space forward slash im and now you need to paste the process name that you just copied in order to kill it so i will make a right click and it will be automatically pasted and now if i hit the enter key so the process will now be closed and you can see it says success the process with pid 7204 has been terminated so if there was any kind of suspicious application running so we have successfully removed them we have killed them and now it's not running so that we can properly access our computer now next what you can do you have to type the drive letter where you feel that you have some kind of viruses so if you bring up your file explorer and go to this pc you will find your drive listed over here so whichever drive you want to scan you want to look for let's say i want to look for c drive i will go back to the command prompt type c then type colon and hit the enter key so once you will be in that drive the next command that you have to type will be attrab space minus s space minus h space minus r space forward slash s space forward slash d space star dot star you will be getting all these command in the description so you can simply copy and paste now after pasting this command or typing this command you have to hit the enter key and now it will be scanning all files running in the processes and it will list you over here this also contain all kind of hidden files so that you can easily view from here so once the command is completed next you have to type dir again hit the enter key and now again from here you have to look for a file that seems to be suspicious in case if you are not able to identify or you are confused that what kind of file it is then you can copy that name and go to the google and you can search for it now especially you have to look here for a file that should be by autorun.inf so look here in the list and if you find any process any application by the name autorun.inf then you will have to copy it again come down type del give a space and now paste the name of that application that you just copied and now if you hit the enter key this application will be closed now why i'm recommending you to look for autorun.inf because it allow you to automatically run a specified file when double clicking the disk and many trojan or virus use the same mechanism to spread any kind of virus or malware on your computer so that's why be careful look over the list and find anything that should be related to autorun.inf and delete it and now the next command that you have to type will be msconfig and now if you hit the enter key so this will bring up the system configuration through your command prompt now here what you have to do you need to click on a startup and then click on open task manager and look here for any kind of suspicious application that you don't identify and just make sure that the status has been disabled for that 
let's say if there is an application that you don't trust or feel suspicious then make a right click on it and choose disable because many of the hackers or these kind of people they put some kind of trojan or malware that goes in the startup folder and whenever you start your computer or restart your computer it automatically run it so we don't want that after clearing all the virus it should automatically come up again okay so it's necessary that you should also disable it from the startup application once you are done come back to the system configuration click on the boot option and if you want to just run any kind of a scan and want to run the computer in the safe mode then you can also do it from here so from the boot option you can check the safe boot option and then click on network so that you can access the internet connection then click on apply ok and restart the computer and it will be coming up in the safe mode and now finally i would also recommend you that you should run all kind of a scan provided by windows security and for that you have to type a command that will be start space windows defender then give a colon and now if you hit the enter key it will automatically bring up your windows security now i know that you can manually open this security from the setting as well but as i said in case if you are not able to access your windows machine graphically then at least you can access and bring up the security through the command prompt so once you come up here you have to click on virus and threat protection and then you can click on quick scan and it will be scanning for any kind of trojan virus or infection on your computer okay guys so these are the most useful command of command prompt that will be helping you to scan and delete and remove any kind of virus from your computer so that you can quickly fix it especially when you are not able to access the graphical interface of your windows machine and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye